The only difference between uh, using a pony and a sixlet is how long this sits down to the bottom. So before you solder it right here, measure it. You know, slide it down to the bottom. It can touch bottom of your keg. Now, if you're going to be running a bunch of chunky fruit, real thick stuff, might want to drill a couple holes right here. But that's the only difference in this design is the length of this tube. If you're going to run a sixlet, it's going to be a little longer. You could run a tape measure or you could just push it on the top of your keg, push the pipe down, and then solder it right here. That's all you need. This is a down comber, down comber, however you want to say it. Let's uh, turn any, any keg into a thumper. Um, I wouldn't use a regular keg as a thumper if I was using a regular keg as a, a pot. Uh, you usually want your thumper to be smaller than your pot. Uh, now the only thing you really have to do at this point is measure from here up and over from your column and then from here up and over to your condenser. That's it. What I did, so this is all the other pipes pretty much look like. This one would go to my condenser or from my column. This goes down to here like that. And then this sits facing the other way. And then basically I call this a Z pipe. It goes out up over my condenser hook hooks up right here these are the easy things to figure out you just have to measure where you're going to set this i built a, a a little table for my thumper you can put it on another turkey fryer whatever you got you can set it on some bricks um, but that all that's easy the hardest part is making the down comer so once you got that done, all you need is a tape measure, some more half inch, some unions, and a couple elbows, maybe three. In my case, three elbows. Uh, I hope that helped. If you don't want to build this, I sell them on my website, philbillymoonshine.com. You could turn any keg into a thumper or a doubler, whatever you want to call it. That's it. Have a nice day. Now this is my favorite. Uh, I'll show you some close-ups of what, of what it is. I'll show you it running. This is my favorite way to, if I'm going to uh, run anything fruit, uh, any type of fruit brandies, um, anything like that, I'm going to want, this is one of my favorite ways to run off a of keg still. There, it, it comes out great. It's not too strong. You don't leave too many flavors behind. Um, check it out. Okay. Got a two inch ferrule. You got a piece of two inch pipe cut. It's just roughly, I mean, it. this could be, it's three inches. Three inches of two inch pipe. We're gonna solder those two together. <coughs> Once that's soldered together, we're gonna solder this cap on here. It's a reducer, two inch to one inch. So, so far we have this, right? We're going from two inches down to one inch, okay? So, we need to put the pipe through here, but there's a little nipple there's a couple of them on the inside of here that will stop that pipe right here. We'll stop it from going through. So you have to file that down. And I use a Dremel tool to get that, get rid of that. And now we got our pipe, right? We're gonna set on the pony keg. So we gotta solder this to this, but we need to know our depth. Now you could set this on the pony keg and that's the seven and a half gallon keg, not the five want to touch bottom we want to be just off bottom so you could set it down push this to the bottom of the keg pull it up just a little bit then solder it but we already know we got a mark on here so we're going to put our 
Now I'm gonna solder this right here. I'll come back to you with the next step. And there you go. All right, so, so far we got this. Now at the top of this, we wanna go and reduce it even more. We wanna get it down to half inch. You could, do, you could go straight from one to half if you got a reducer. I, I got a one to three quarters that I'm gonna put on there. Then I'm gonna put a piece of three quarters inch pipe, a little piece, and then I'm gonna reduce that down to half inch. So I'm gonna solder these three pieces, one to three quarter reducer, a piece of three quarter inch pipe, and then a three quarter to half. We'll come back to you when that's done. So this depends on what's on your can, you know, what what you're working with. You could use either the male or female coupling. So keep that in mind. You need to know what how you're going to go to each piece. I'm going to use this piece here. This is going to be the pipe. Just in case I cut this bit out. It's going to be the pipe. We're going to drill a hole, and solder it in there. But I'm going to go ahead and put the coupling end on it. So that, or the, the union, I'm gonna put the union on it right now, but this is where this is gonna go. It's gonna come out of the side of there and go to the condenser. All right, so I drill a hole in the side of here. We'll take a half inch pipe and solder a half inch, half inch uh, union to it. And we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna solder it there. All right, we have everything we need now, except for, need to put another little piece of half inch here. Then we need to put another union on the end of that. And then that piece will be finished and all we'll need to do is run our pipes that go from our still to our thumper, and then from our thumper to our condenser. I'll show you that next. <clears throat> Here it is. So. <clears throat> it is. It's 12 and a half inches to the bottom of a pony keg. That is a seven and a half gallon pony k that is not a five gallon six lit or whatever they call them so let's go back through this we got a two inch ferrule a just roughly three inch piece of two inch pipe we have a reducer going from two inch to one inch and then we have to grind down the pin that's the stopper pin in here and then we shove a one inch pipe that is what's up Kyle one inch pipe that's about I'd say about 21 inches long um, and then we go from the top of the one inch down to three quarter so that's a reducer from one to three quarter here is a three quarter inch pipe it's probably about two three inches long we, we have a reducer going from three quarters to half we I put a probably about a four or five inch piece of half inch then I got a half inch union and uh, Then down here, we got a hole we drilled in the side of this reducer, half inch piece of pipe, and a half inch union. Now I'll show you the next step to making this. Uh, check it out. That's what she looks like running clean and run through her. Run of vinegar. Go 
there's the keg is the, the main and then a pony keg for a thumper now we could design this in any which way but that'd be special order but for this exact setup i'll have a posting this inch and a quarter lie bag with a half inch running through it has a stand to help support it check it out if you're interested this will be one more thing on our site we're going to make every which way you can make a a keg still we're going to have every option and every size we'll do this again in a two footer and then do it again in a one footer and we could build any type of keg still that you want um just getting the pictures and getting them you know the prototypes finished is all we're doing right now that's why it's taking a little bit of time but it'll be ready real soon now with this uh this keg still here i built this table to hold my thumper keg so that's a seven and a half gallon pony um that's that's a jet burner that that my keg's on and this is a three foot column and when you get this it does not include the two kegs it does not include the table and it does not include the jet burner so you're getting everything here you're getting the condenser or you're getting the column you're getting the column which that's a three footer i'll have some other sizes on there that are a little cheaper this thing's it's very large so it's a big ass keg keg still you get the over pipe, the down pipe, and this, this unit here, I'm going to sell those separately also. If, if I, I'm going to sell those also separately so you could build your own to anything. Um, just from here, down, and over, and then it goes down inside the keg. I will sell those pieces separately. I, I mean, it's going to, I will sell that by itself also. Uh, you'll see it on the website. Um, I also sell this whole get up, excluding the kegs, the table, and uh, the jet burner. This is a big dog lie bag condenser. It has a stand to help support it. it has fittings so you could just plug water hose into it. And. Uh, so I'm going to have a couple different listings on this. I'm going to add more later, but right now I'm going to have this whole get up just like that. And this, this is a inch and a quarter. This is a pretty big lie bag com compared to the other ones that we sell. And it's, it's a completely vertical. It's pretty badass. This is my favorite way to run anything having fruit in it. I like to put a bunch of fruit and a little bit of vodka or, you know, whatever you got, some moonshine in this right here and then uh it comes out excellent you put your mash over here you could even put a little mash in here too you know with some like whatever type of fruit you want to run this is my favorite way to run anything like that uh and the liquor comes out really good if you want nothing but super high high proof jet fuel then uh you want to buy a jar set up uh, I'll make another video about the jar setup, but, uh, and, and I got a couple more parts of a video that I already shot of it running earlier today in a cleaning run. Uh, I'll probably be repeating myself. So sorry if it's a little boring, but, uh, check it out. And also I'll get you a close up. So you might need to build you a table or get you a stand. But I will also be selling just this piece down and down to here. I'll take this off and show you just that part. Uh, a lot of people are selling these online. You'll see them and then you'll, it'll be up to you. If you buy just that, then you'll have to make an up pipe and an over pipe connect it to your column 
and then you'll have to make one going over and up and over. I call that a Z pipe. I don't know what, what anybody else would call that. Looks like a big giant ass Z. So here's this pipe all by itself. This part. Just ran a copper run on it. Clean it out. Um, yeah, I'll have that listed by itself. That way you could basically... And I'll also have... Uh, I could make this for a seven and a half gallon pony uh, keg. I can make this to where to fit the slim six lit keg. It's five gallons. So you just have to let me know. Um, it, it's not much difference, but I'll, I'll have to know so I know how much to make the downpipe, how long to make it. Besides that, um, that thing's badass. So, so if you order one, just let me know what kind of keg you got. Because I have every type of keg that, that's ever been made. And I could make it fit. Um, if later on you did order that and you had specific dimensions. And you needed some, uh, some down pipes. I could make those too. Uh, we could work it out. Just, just let me know. I'm going to list my phone number on the website. Uh, you can call me if you got any questions. If you don't like me and you're a stalker, please don't bother me. Um, I'll just ignore your ass. But, but yeah, man. Three foot. That's the chopper right there. I'm also going to make it to where, like, if you get this three footer, this is set up to where you could run some jars. You could put jars in between there and uh, with no problems. Now, I'm going to sell the jars by themselves, also, the jar setups, and it'll be up to you to find a way to support. Let's so if you've ever, I mean, it's one, it's one fitting, you zip it there with a, you know, a uh, hose clamp, you solder it, it's got a nipple in there, you measure your pipe, you build you a base. I got a video coming out, but I also, I'll sell these bases, but you'll have to know exactly your measurements or I'll give you, I'll sell the bases and I'll get, just give you an extra long pipe and then you can take a pipe cutter and just cut it to w whatever length you need it. Um, but, but this setup comes with a base, but I'm saying like later on, a lot of the shit we sell. It's going to need to be supported because you're going to have shit hanging over here and you need to support your condenser and then some of them you know when it's a shorty when it's like a two footer or a one footer you can put a regular lie bag to this and just have it not vertical like mine just trying to explain a lot of this shit on this video because i know a lot of people are new to working with metal and things like that and they're going to have issues. But if you're interested, check out the website. If not, uh, fuck your mama. And uh, I got way too drunk online the other night. I, it's my bad, man. I, uh, I was fucking puking by the end of the night. I, I get too goddamn drunk. But check him out. Fuck your mama, bitch.